On this adventure, we're camping on a prairie, taking new back roads in the Washita National Forest, and kayaking the Caddo River. So we're expecting some bad weather coming through Arkansas right about eight, seven, eight in the location that we're gonna be camping in the Washita National Forest. Normally bad weather, we're all down for camping in, but this is saving stating that there's going to be large, large hail and damaging winds and possible tornadoes. Mm -hmm. So we have thought we would just wait it out before we go out there, set up a tent and mm -hmm. there would be large hail be our luck and mm -hmm. holes would be on our tent. Yeah, we and we don't need that. that. We don't need that. So what you cooking here? Tuna melts. Tuna melts. Mm -hmm. Look delicious. Yeah, it smells like tuna sandwiches that I do cheddar cheese and, um, Tomato. We're gonna eat this here, like she said, check the weather, Keep and informed. then we'll probably be heading out west here mm -hmm. shortly. Hopefully. Because we do not want to be putting up a tent and trying to cook. But I also don't want to sleep here tonight. I want to camp. <laughs> so. I agree. It is about, let's see what time it is. 6.20. Last time we talked to you guys, it was more about 4.45. Uh, we're now at the gas station gassing up. We are ready to go, as you can see. Well, I can't roll the window down, but there's no rain. It's actually kind of sunny in parts, but I mean, I know we're gonna get rain on. I don't think it's gonna happen until about eight or nine. We're gonna go ahead and head that way and see what happens. So we'll see you when we get there. literally crazy phenomenon the clouds have split so we're not going to get any precipitation here yeah we're north of mount idaho arkansas and the washita river is just north of us so we're sandwiched in between in the washita national forest but yeah. i want to show y'all i don't know if y'all can remember oh, yeah. where we are let me just show Go you ahead. so we are back at the prairie little tent on the prairie that's all anyway <laughs> so it is kind of dark uh we're gonna go ahead and put the tent up see if we can gather some firewood and of course it looks like we got some cleaning up to do around here so we will hopefully catch back with you in a minute and i need to put a little jacket on it's called see you in a bit guys got some firewood and the storm supposedly is supposed to be splitting around us um, we're only gonna get the tail Hell. Well, it's a little bit. Yeah, it's getting pretty wild. So, guys, this is where we're at. This is right here is about to hit us. And that's what we're hearing cracking in front of us. It is going to get crazy. So it's officially raining, right Kelly? Yes. And hopefully the fire holds on strong. For what? We're not going to be over there. <laughs> yeah, that's hell. Right on. It'd be fine as long as it doesn't get to the size of the softball. We're good. As long as it stays the size that it's staying. Which, right now, this is the size of the hill. Yeah. So, guys, we just got in the truck because the wind uh, was causing the rain to blow in sideways and it was getting kind of cold. We had a bunch of little hill. Not a big deal, but 
my rope system working very well on the uh, canopy so far. Some really high gusts just came through. And uh, I'm happy with the, with the ability of that canopy. I have a lot more faith in it after going through that. So we're out assessing after the storm. It ain't over. It ain't over. We got one more round. But the hell that was coming down was just small uh, key size hell. Nothing big, but man, I am proud of these stakes. They did a good job. Checking the tent. Are you checking in there, babe? Mm -hmm. How is everything? Everything looks awesome. Now, I don't want y'all to think we're super crazy. Because the only reason we decided to go ahead and do this is because the weather forecast said that there was no chance of rain any longer in this region. It was going to split in two, and it looked like that was exactly what was going to happen. And, of course, it didn't happen. It actually converged back together and just hit us hard. But we've got one more round. Are you ready, Kelly? She ain't ready. She, she did not have fun with that just then. So we didn't make it in enough time to get in the tent, but the weather doesn't seem as bad this time. We've not held, and there's just a lot of rain coming off the top of our tent. So we're gonna hold out for a second and uh, see what happens, right, Kelly? Yeah. Small. You cold? Yeah. I love you. Yeah. All right then. So I think right now would be a perfect time to talk about when you're inside the tent when it's raining. Kelly and I have noticed when we go to campgrounds that some people will have their air up mattresses or other things inside the tent pushed up right against the side of the walls, bulging out. And when that occurs when it's raining, it allows water to seep into the tent because your tent is not waterproof this material just sheds water down the side. The only part that's actually waterproof is the bottom part. But we're gonna call it, we're gonna go ahead and go to bed, and we will see you guys in the morning. See ya. Good morning everybody so the rain did stop last night and we have some clouds right now but it's supposed to be sunny later I did not sleep very good last night I don't know why um, I'm not sure but we're trying to get the fire going I've got some coffee while well, trying to make some coffee I got some water going I think I'm gonna make um, English muffins with bacon egg and jam this morning and try to wake up a little bit because I'm tired bacon smelling good fire is having some problems but it is catching we used some of this grass over here because it was dry as a kindling wadded it up use this as a base since that's about the only thing that's dry but it's starting to catch we got some warmth going in there. That's it. Bacon egg. I still gotta make mine. So we finished breakfast and still kind of working on this fire. We're not really trying to have a fire because we're cold. What we want to do is just try to dry everything out in the fire pit so later when we start a fire it's not a big deal. You know, it starts really quick. So we just have some smoke going, just trying to dry everything out. How are you doing over there? Today, the plan is, the reason we're waiting on the sun is we're kayaking the Caddo? Caddo. Caddo. How many miles? Eight. Eight miles. 
And if y'all didn't know, uh, right back here, I think we told y'all the last time, is the Womble Trail. Is we that, rode from here last time. Is that what it's called, yeah. the Womble Trail? So last time we camped here, this is the Womble Trail right here. It's a mountain biking trail and we're hiking. But we did uh, mountain bike that last time we were here. So that was fun, it's a really good trail. I'll do it again. We're gonna head south from here, drive through Mount Ida, drive through Norman, is it Norman? I think, to the smallest library in Arkansas. I wanna stop and check that out. And I'm gonna drop Kelly off at Caddo Gap, where we're gonna be putting in at. And then I'm gonna drive the Hummer down to Glenwood and drop that off in bike shuttle. That's why he brought the mountain bike. I'm gonna ride the mountain bike back to where she's at and chain it up somewhere and ride down. It's gonna be very eventful. So that's the plan. But we're still drinking coffee right now. So we have packed up everything, leaving that as is. And we're gonna go get some ice for the ice chest. Uh, we've got to drop me with the boats. Cody's gonna shuttle with the bike. And we'll just show you how it goes. So the weather is real windy and we could do this today. However, tomorrow is gonna be even better and we don't want to waste tomorrow we doing... also don't want to lose a drone yeah and the wind's not going to die down today till about four or five o'clock yeah there's some high like uh 20 mile per hour gusts going on right now so we're going to do this tomorrow and we're going to do today what we're going to do tomorrow and check out some other spots because it's going to be even warmer so why not This is a really cool find. So we're from the Caddo Gap. We're like, uh, we're north of Caddo Gap. Uh, I forgot the forest road name, but we're, I think we just went 15 minutes down dirt road and we found this. Okay, so we're at that second low water bridge and we did find um, a camp spot. There's a truck parked here, but I don't know if they're just hunting or what. There's nobody in this camp spot. So yay let's check it out trap by the water it's a pretty popular spot i guess you would say yeah it'd be flat too yeah fire pit hey there's fish in here this thing's got this is spring fed it has water in it all the time oh, i bet it's cold oh yeah look how pretty this is yep Huh. Man, this is awesome. Where can we bathe that? We've got another one, got another one. <laughs> <laughs> I love good camping spots, man. <laughs> oh. Every single time I see a creek, all I want to do is walk up it. I like a creeks. I like them a lot. Yeah, you know, what I love so much about creeks though, is I love trees. I love green trees, and I like it whenever a creek runs through them, and you got shade, and you got colors and sun beaming through. You can't freaking beat it. Wow. I'm actually glad we're not kayaking today because we wouldn't have come and explore this place. We were gonna go to another place and explore tomorrow. Okay, I think we're gonna soak it up here for a little bit. Since we don't really have any plans today, we're gonna kayak tomorrow. Uh, it's just too beautiful. Like, I just, we can't leave. So we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit. So guys, we just found a uh, water moccasin, commonly known as a cottonmouth right beside Kelly where she put up her little mat just now. He is not happy. Well, he's cautious. He's just watching us. There he is. People always ask me if we see a lot of snakes and normally we don't, but the thing is, so he saw us or he or she, and now it's, it's basically going about it's own business. Yeah. 
But as long as you don't mess with them or come up on their den or anything like that, you're pretty much fine. That's beautiful, though. And what's funny is they're afraid of us because they think that we're going to eat them. Well, if we were on Naked and Afraid, I'd probably try killing it right now. Something else interesting about water moccasins are that they're shorter but fatter than most snakes. And the reason that they're fat is so they can kind of spread out and glide across the top of water. Um, kind of like a paddleboard almost. Oh, yeah? Yeah, real wide, flat, like a paddleboard. And that way they can get across the top of water quicker. Protecting you from the snake. Bad snake. Bad. Get, get. get out of here. Old snake. And I think that's all she wrote. Man. I like nature. It's pretty cool. You never know what you're going to find. Cool. So the guy just left. I think we're going to hike up the road a little ways and see what else is uh, up that way because the trees are real low. And I'm okay with driving down it when I don't have the kayaks on top. But with the kayaks on top, every time I've ever done that, trees end up getting hung up all in it. And it's, it's just a pain in the butt. So we'll go down and see what's available, see if there's any other camp spots along the way. So guys, it looks like this dead ends, and it looks like people camp here, but this is a good spot to camp. There's a fire ring. It looks like nobody's camped here in a while. Where are you going? Looks like people do ATVs right through here. Or is that a hiking trail? Kelly! Yeah. <laughs> right now, so our motto is don't just tour, explore. And what's that about? When you tour, you see things that you see in magazines or people tell you about, and you have an expectation set. But when you explore, you don't know what you're gonna find like this oh man dude i was not expecting this how deep this hole is yeah look at this hole right here Look at this. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. So, guys, after my little geek out session, we, uh, we're going to star this one. This was a unexpected find. Yeah, this is better than where we were chilling at. And, uh, but that's there in case this is ever taken. Yeah, which it looks like this hadn't been taken in years. No. But we're going to head on back and we will see you back at the truck. Back at the truck, we're fisting to go up the creek ways and rinse off. Got to get this old oily hair cleaned. I'm a dirty person. So we did officially get clean. It was very cold. But it was fine. It was um, exhilarating. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our little jug here, six gallon jug, and we're going to put the rest of the water in the tube. Then we're going to fill that jug up with water from this creek just so we have enough to wash dishes. I have to wash dishes tonight and uh, for breakfast tomorrow morning I'll have to wash dishes. So in case we need to wash our hands or anything like that, we have plenty of water. 
hatcheting away. I'm using the back side of my hatchet to open this. Because when this thing builds up with pressure, it kind of seals this cap real tight. So we're going to do that and then we're going to go, we're going to head back to camp. So earlier, Cody was talking about a small library here. It's the smallest library, what? I don't know, maybe the world? We don't, <laughs> I don't know. know. It's, it's very small. tiny. It was built in 1936 in Norman, in Norman Arkansas. Arkansas, but it's really kind of cool looking. Look how little. Of course they're closed. Mondays and Fridays from 1 to 4. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Oh, okay. I missed that. There's four bookshelves in there. Man, those are my kind of hours, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna work three days a week. Yeah, look inside. I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah, that's it. But how cute is that? That is so cool. Anyway, we just wanted to show you that. It's kind of a neat little attraction. Now we'll see you back at camp. Guys, we're back at camp. Our friend Ann is here and uh, she's gonna be getting her uh, camp set up. But right now, Kelly is about to start cooking. And what are you about to cook, babe? I am making, it's called California Grilled Chicken. So I'm gonna, I already have my chicken uh, marinating. It's been marinating since yesterday. So I'm gonna grill it on this new little griddle I got here. It's cast Check iron. Check this out. A little flat cast iron griddle. Sets so right on top. It weighs about 500 pounds, but we tested it at the house and it does real stuff. Yeah, it tastes like it's off the grill. Um, so I'm gonna grill the chicken. I'm gonna cut up some avocados. I have some uh, tomato here and basil, and then I'm gonna make a coconut rice with it and some mozzarella cheese on top. So it's gonna be really good. Hey, so we're wrapping it up. We had dinner. It was really good. That's California grilled chicken, by the way, if you ever want to make it. But we have a friend here and is camping with us tonight. Hi, Ann. Hi. I just play out being stupid. <laughs> so she brought some extra firewood because a lot of ours were wet or was wet. Actually, everything around yeah. here is wet. And uh, we didn't even ask, but it was so nice of her because I was really going to call her. But she has a cool son who has a video. His name is Todd. Todd's and a big fan. Todd's a big fan of Dome Life. He's a real Dome Lifer. You got the video? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. A picture of a... Well, he's just got or it on picture? his... He wanted to make sure that you knew that he put it on his scooter. Man, we know. We know now. I can't wait to see it. It's right on the front of his electric scooter. There it is. <laughs> Let's get in there. Right there. It's the first sticker he wants to cover his scooter with, with stickers, but this is the first awesome. one to on there. That's so make sure hey man, you're our hero. Yeah, we're giving you a shout out. We're giving you a shout out. You got to come camping with us sometime. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would love to meet you in person and be at our next cleanup. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we're there. Yeah, because yeah. she came to the, uh, actually she came to the Fall in the Nature event. That's where I first met her. I think that's where I first met you. Yeah. Right? And then she the came. The Nature Preserve. The Nature Preserve, uh, our cleanup on the Little Mall Mail. But I think we're going to chill tonight. Mm -hmm. And uh, spend some time with her, talk, and we will catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. 
This morning is beautiful because there's a sun. It's great stuff. It is. It's really good. But we got up early this morning so that we can try to have a full day out on the river because there's no wind. It's warm. It's beautiful. And that was the goal of today. And it's working out great so far because yesterday it was dewy, cold, and like 15 mile per hour winds. So, what are you cooking this morning, honey? Uh, pancakes. Oh. You know, there might be a little treat in there called a blueberry, right? Sure. I love me some blueberries. Let's get breakfast started. So, Kelly made a really good vlog of how to make pancakes, and we'll put that in the description below. But this is basically a yogurt-based pancake, right? Yeah. So I use Greek yogurt just to put a little bit of protein in it. And the Greek yogurt I get has... Um, it's at least seven grams of protein. And here are those beautiful blueberries I was talking about. Mm. So you're pretty much making it to... Right, it's egg and yogurt is all I got right now. Then I'm going to add vanilla. And then there's Anne. Good morning, morning Anne. Morning. You ready for some kayaking today? So Anne's like a hardcore backpacker and she puts us to shame because we're just car campers and kayak campers. And what do you got going on here, Anne? This is called a Whisper Light Stove. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, it's designed for high altitude camping because it's really, really hot. Um, the only problem with it is that you can't really cook anything on a low temperature, but it boils the pot of water very quickly. So um, that's what I love about it. And like, we have this thing around. Windshields. Yep, to keep the wind out, to keep it warmer. Yeah. Um, so it does the job. I like it. That's the fuel down there, mm -hmm. liquid fuel at the bottom, if you can see the right there. She's got a flame on it. And I guess she said that she's letting that all heat up. This is scary. I'd catch my beard on fire. <laughs> And so I'm guessing at high altitude, because of the lack of oxygen to burn, that's why you have to have this type of mm -hmm. cooker. Okay. Mm -hmm. So our little fancy stove over there could have problems. Yeah, but it's much better for if you don't have to carry anything. This is very light. It's whisper light. And there it goes. You get that nice blue flame. You know it's really hot. It's making that great sound. Oh, yeah. Pancakes are done and they look good, they smell good. I think we're ready to eat. All right, so we are cleaned up here at camp, and today is kayaking the Caddo. So that is where we are headed. So we had to come up to Glenwood to get a kayak for Ann because she doesn't have a kayak. But we're using Lucky's canoe rental, and we're going to be going up to the swinging bridge coming down. I think it's about an eight mile float. Uh, and we'll be taken out here and they'll go they're gonna shuttle her up there we're gonna follow her back up there and put our boats in and uh, see what we can do it should be a good time but if you get a chance come support Lucky's so we are about to put the boats in the water such a beautiful day today uh, it's perfect for this there's quite a few people kayaking um, but who can resist it's perfect weather so we're about to put the boats in and we'll give you a view from up in the sky.
There ain't nothing better than floating on a river and wearing cheap sunglasses. So one of the depressing things about popular rivers is trash. I don't know what people did with it. Want a new speaker? Oh. All right, so Cody has secured all the trash. There was not a trash can where we were. So we just paddled up a ways and then he sees a trash can. Ready, Ann? Well, we have come to an end of this beautiful place. Love it. I'm obsessed with it. I want to buy property here. So, Anna's going to take Cody to get the Hummer. Cody's going to come back and get the boats. So, we can be on our way back to base camp. Womp, womp, womp. But, we enjoyed our time. <laughs> How did you womp, enjoy womp. it? Man, um... Uh... This river is really underrated. Yeah. I, mean, I know a lot of people talk about it and come here, but it's a real short drive from Little Rock. It's a short drive from Texas, Louisiana. It's awesome all the way around. So we're gonna let Ann it. close it out with us. Yeah, actually, hey, Ann, come. We'll close out the vlog here. Okay. And all I'm gonna do is just go get the vehicle. So yeah, that's it. You're it's not pretty much anything. done. You're not missing anything. Pretty much done. Yep. So Ann, thank you. Thank you for yeah. including me on your trip. It was yeah. awesome. We had a great good time. time. And uh, next Good time, day. we need uh, Todd to be here, right? Yeah. Right? Bring him along. Definitely. Right on. Right on. Yeah. But if you like this vlog, make sure you give us a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. And we will catch you on the other. Bye.